How's it going? Welcome back, my beautiful sinners, to another great video here on The Savior Show. That's right, get excited, get pumped up. I'm happy to have you here, my boys and girls. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. And if you're not, welcome back, my OG sinners. Welcome to The Savior Show, in which I tell you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts, okay? And I'm gonna give you a little bit of the truth today. Well, it's my truth, and I'm on the internet, and I make videos, so that means my truth is the only opinion that matters, okay? So shut up and listen to my crappy opinions about something. That's right, Rick and Morty Season 5. Is it good? Is it bad? Will it suck? Will it be amazing? I'm here to tell you, okay? So sit back and relax. If you love Rick and Morty, if you hate Rick and Morty, it's all good. Grab your plumbers, shove it up your ass, and today we're gonna discuss Rick and Morty Season 5, okay? Now, if you're new or if you're not new, please check out my music that I make on Spotify and iTunes. Links will be down below. I would highly appreciate it. So. If you are not new, I keep saying that, I'm sorry, but if you have been around the channel, you will know that I don't like Rick and Morty Season 4. I hate it. I hate it with a passion, okay? But I do like Rick and Morty. Very weird opinions, I know, but hear me out, okay? Rick and Morty is a great show. I love it, okay? But it's not like South Park. South Park is the only adult cartoon that has kept its integrity, okay? Rick and Morty has gone the way of Family Guy, in my opinion. That's why I hated season 4 so much, okay? Now, it completely destroyed many of the characters, the character developments of the previous Rick and Mortys. It kind of jumped to this new weird style of writing and this weird style of jokes with slapstick jump cuts like Family Guy does, you know, it doesn't really make a lot of se sense anymore. You know, the context has gone from Rick and Morty, and that's what made it so good, okay? It's now kind of really dumb, easy humor that anyone can make, and that's also because that the writing stuff got changed up quite a lot in Rick and Morty Season 4. So that's why I didn't like Rick and Morty Season 4. But I'm sad to say that I think Rick and Morty Season 5 will suck, okay? And, you know, the reason I think this is just looking at the evidence, okay? It's quite clear to me that Rick and Morty has kind of sold out, okay? And the creators now know that they can get away with pretty much anything. They've got contracts. That means that they're going to produce Rick and Morty forever. Even though they've got into a, lot of, a, little, a, little, a little bit of trouble previously from controversial opinions I don't really care about. They're not going to cancel Rick and Morty because they know it's so popular. They know that it can make them lots and lots of money. The show producers, the people who, you know, air the network, Adult Swim, they don't care no matter what they do because they know it's a money maker. They know people love Rick and Morty so much. And the new Rick and Morty season 5 is going to go the same way as Rick and Morty season 4 in my opinion. And the reason why this is going to happen is because they're keeping the same writing staff that they had for season 4 and most of them were terrible, okay? They brought in a new load of people that don't know how to make jokes, they don't know how to write a backstory for a joke to follow through with it with actual meaningful context. Season 4 pretty much wiped all the characters clean and made Morty basically a complete sociopath who doesn't care about anything and it made pretty much all the characters the same as Rick in other words, and they made Rick so over the top powerful that it never felt like there was any kind of danger anymore. There was never really any interesting adventures to go on. It was just kind of one random thing happening after another just to keep the entertainment train going. And I feel like they're not gonna learn anything from season four. A lot of people were, you know, on my side saying they agree that season four was definitely the worst season of Rick and Morty. And I feel like it's just going to continue in this way because, like I said, they're just going to keep with the same old writing stuff. They're not going to try and fix their mistakes with Rick and Morty Season 4. Now, you know, there should be more character development. There should be more actual story arcs from the first two seasons. And who knows if they're going to follow through with that because they pretty much made fun of it in Season 5. 
just taking the piss out of the fans and, you know, the fact that they actually care about the storyline. You know, it doesn't feel like it's following a set path anymore. It's just gonna go all over the place. Random stuff happening, you know, more of Pickle Rick. And a lot of people love that. That's what they like about it because, you know, sad to say, most people are pretty stupid. And Rick and Morty isn't obviously an IQ, high intelligent drama. Although, you know, there's lots of jokes surrounding that Rick and Morty is really deep and it has all these cool, you know, existential kind of questions that should be, you know, answered and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, Rick and Morty has just become pretty much a basic adult cartoon that, you know, kind of falls flat with the storytelling and with the jokes. It has gone pretty much the same direction that Family Guy went, which is just random over the top humor with not too many interesting you know story paths anymore not too many interesting character development and that's a real shame because that's what i loved originally so much about rick and morty was the interesting characters and you know seeing them develop over time it actually you know followed one episode onto the next one you know it wasn't just like a reset button but now it feels like every episode is pretty much a brand new slate a a brand new reset you know anything can happen and to hell with the consequences that's pretty much how i felt about rick and morty season four that they just forgot about the main narrative path so they forgot about developing the characters and actually giving them their own unique story arcs and that kind of stuff which is a real shame and i feel like season five is going to do pretty much the same thing so that's why i think rick and morty season five sucks and it's not going to be as good as the original first two seasons of Rick and Morty. They were the peak golden years and sadly I think it's only going to get worse because like I said they keep changing their writing stuff, they keep changing the people who make the jokes, they hire a lot of people who don't share the same sense of humor that you know started off the show. It's getting more and more corporatized, it's getting more you know outsourced to just you know new people who don't really know Rick and Morty like the original creators and they know they can just pretty much produce whatever they want because they have a contract so they're just gonna make filler episodes with random jokes they're gonna forget about the main story they're gonna forget about the actual characters and their development and the humor which is the main key focus of Rick and Morty the nihilistic humor of Rick and Morty has basically been replaced by this family guy style of comedy where it's all just random jokes after another random joke with no explanation, no backstory, or they just, you know, show these long-winded, terrible jokes like with the snakes, you know, god that was so cringy, with the dragon, dra you know, flying around on that drunk dragon, I mean there are so many cringeworthy moments in season 4 and they know this is because they have such a huge audience now it's not niche anymore they have a huge audience and a lot of them are brain dead kids and of course you know this kind of comedy sells more so they don't have to focus as much as they did in the original Rick and Morty season 1 and 2 they can pretty much just you know do whatever they want and that's fine it's their show I just feel like it's lost a lot of what made it so special to begin with and sadly that is just how entertainment and media works especially when something gets super popular it's gonna get you know corporatized it's gonna get you know just washed down and boring nothing is ever good as the first or the second season you know that goes the same with most things so that's my opinion on Rick and Morty season 5 and why I think Rick and Morty season 5 sucks and why it will suck I should say because it hasn't actually come out yet but when it does, I'm not holding out too much hope. I didn't enjoy season 4 really whatsoever. It didn't ever make me laugh or get excited to see the new episodes. Because, you know, all the characters now feel the same. You know, they all feel like cold-blooded psychopaths that just, you know, don't question anything. You know, what made Rick and Morty so good was seeing the development between Rick and Morty. Hence the name of the show. But then, after a while, they just kind of merged into the same person and it got very muddled and you know it just got so over the top you know that it didn't feel kind of grounded with its original sense of the Rick and Morty show and that's a real shame because that's what made it so enjoyable in my opinion 
Anyway, let me know your opinions down below in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Have yourselves a blessed day and peace out.